Welcome to the farm stand kitchen. It's the end of my day. I've done quite a few cooking videos today, but we're ending on a good note because we have finally made cinnamon rolls in the farm stand kitchen. Now we're going to have to flip these over to see how delicious these are. They get inverted, but we're going to do that. And I think maybe we'll just do that now. We're going to invert these onto a pan, a plate, and then we will continue and show you how to make these. So I'm just going to go grab it here. So I think we'll just do it on this one here. I'm going to get these down here. I'm just going to put them on this cookie sheet, which will be fine for now. See how much clearance I have here. I think that'll be good. Right. Grab the edge here. They're going to be coming. I can feel them. Here they come. And there we go. This is a delicious whipping cream and brown sugar mixture that sets in the bottom of these cinnamon rolls. And I'm telling you what, it's just a die for. They're so good. And this is such an easy recipe as well. So let's get started and then we'll crack into one of those and give it a taste. So let's get started. Let's make our filling first for these cinnamon rolls. So what I have here is just one stick of butter and it's softened. So that's what we have there. And then we're going to add a half a cup of granulated sugar and two teaspoons of cinnamon. So we're just gonna mix these together. This will be the filling for our cinnamon rolls. Ooh, that cinnamon. Smells good. Smells so delicious. Just use the back of your spoon and just get those combined together. Nice soft butter, salted butter, cinnamon, and sugar. That is our filling. So we're just going to set this aside and make our dough. That looks mighty fine right there. So we're going to set this aside. Okay. So the dough for these cinnamon rolls starts with one and a half cups of flour. Now we're gonna be adding some things to this. A quarter cup of granulated sugar. We're gonna add two tablespoons of melted butter. We're gonna add just a half a teaspoon of salt. We're gonna add our yeast. One packet, and I happen to be using quick rice doesn't have to be. You can just use regular yeast. It's one packet of yeast. And we're going to add one large egg. And one cup of warm tap water or 110 degrees warm tap water. Okay. So now we're going to use our whisk. And we're just going to incorporate these. Now I have several cinnamon roll recipes that I make. It just depends on what occasion I'm making them for and how much time I have. But this has kind of been a go-to for me over the years. My kids always loved cinnamon rolls. This one's kind of a, an easy one that they don't have to raise but one time. And they always taste delicious. Okay, so there we have just that much mix. And now we're going to add more flour. So I'm going to clear the way a little bit here because we're going to have to roll out. We're going to have to create some space. Okay, let's add another cup and a half of flour. And this is all-purpose flour. All 
right. It's coming together for us there. And now we're going to put some flour out here and we're going to knead these a little bit and roll them out. Okay, let's just put our flour out right here. I think that will be fine. That'll be pretty good. Slide over just a tad. Spread this out. We're just going to put our dough out here. We have just a little more flour. And we're just going to knead this dough a little bit. It's nice and warm from the warm water. Start activating our yeast there. Add just a tad more here. This dough should not be sticky, but it should be pliable. So you can roll it out. And for me, I can just totally tell by the way it feels. So when you do this and really smoosh down in there, it shouldn't be sticky. All right. Okay. That feels perfect. And then I just kind of like to pat it out in just a small shape that I'm going to roll out just in a rectangle. I'm going to run some of this dough off my hands here and then we'll get the rolling pen. All right. So let's get our rolling pen and we'll do a little rolling. So we're going to take this out about seven inches across and 15 inches long. Oh yeah, that's a beautiful dough. See that elect? It's elastic. That is a nice one. I'll scooch down here just a little bit so you can see. Let's get just a little more flour there. There we go. All right. Let's go this way. This reminds me of the very first video we did, Dave, homemade noodles. We rolled out those noodles and our video went viral and we couldn't believe it. Tons of people making homemade noodles across the country. All right, let's just get this just a little bit more. Wow, this is such a great dough. It's great movement. All right, I'm gonna go just a little bit more this way. You know, you don't have to get your measuring stick out or anything. It's just gonna, 15 inches is good. Okay. All right, now we're gonna put our filling in there. So you just wanna put it right on. This is such an easy cinnamon roll. Just really, I love the dough on this one. And it really works good. I'm gonna try my little spatula here. And you just wanna get your filling all on here. Okay. 
And that right there is plenty good enough. All right. Now, we're gonna pop over here to this pan and I wanna explain to you what we're going to do here. Now, all of this yummy stuff you see on top is two cups of whipping cream and two cups of brown sugar, light brown sugar. And I already have those two mixed together. So I'm gonna go ahead and just pour it in our pan and that's an ungreased nine by 13 pan. This happens to be my bread pans and these are just a little bit bigger but not too much bigger than a nine by 13. You can use a nine by 13 pan. Okay, so this was two cups of heavy whipping cream and two cups of brown sugar. All right. Now, I'm just gonna leave this right here and we're gonna roll this up. So we're gonna start on our long side here. And we're just gonna start rolling. Start rolling up. Okay. And then just end up where your seam is on the bottom. Just like that. And there you go, you've just rolled it and Got it good to go. All right, now, I always use my pizza rocker for this. You can just use a sharp knife, it's fine. I have just always done it this way, and this is the way I do it. So I just kind of smoosh it. Then I'm gonna put it in there. Dave, I'm gonna scoot back so I can bring this up a little bit for you to see. Let's clear that out just a tad. There we go. All right, and I'm gonna keep cutting. Just kind of give them a little smoosh. We'll just go ahead and fill the pan. There's no reason why we can't. Let's just continue on here. I do things a little unorthodox, you guys know that. But it's just the way that I like to do it. Nothing better than a pan of cinnamon rolls. I think everybody likes them. I know they do around here. When my family and friends and my neighbors see that we're making cinnamon rolls over here, they're gonna be like, woohoo! Video day! Cinnamon rolls! Bring them on over. So, you just wanna set these right into the brown sugar and the whipping cream, and you're gonna let them raise just like this. We'll just keep going on here. You're gonna get about 16, that's what you're gonna get. Depends, sometimes I'll get less because I wanna make them a little bigger. You can do whatever you would like. There we go. And we will just cut three more out of this one. There we go. I'll just go ahead and squeeze them in here. Now, you're gonna just wanna cover this with a little plastic wrap, put it in a warm place, and just let those double, which is gonna be right about an hour, maybe just a tad over, but not much, usually about an hour. So you just want those to raise, and then you just uh, pop them in the oven in a 375 oven for right about 25, 30 minutes. Um, they're gonna be nice and golden brown on top and um, they're gonna be good to go. So then when you take them out of the oven, you want to let them cool till they're pretty room temperature. Um, you don't wanna flip them too early or your topping is gonna just run. So you want that to set up 
and get a little caramely for you before you would do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and set these over and we'll bring these down. And I will show you what these look like. I'm just gonna push a little of this flour out of the way. Everything that's good is messy. That is what we say around here. Okay, let's just bring these down. Okay, so there's what they look like. I'm going to get a plate and we're going to get one out of there. Let's just go ahead and take this one right here. Okay, see there? And this stays soft. This does not get hard. See how it, it stays nice and soft. And that is a delicious cinnamon roll. I'm going to go ahead and just give it a try here. Mmm, I still think it is my favorite cinnamon roll. That is so delicious. That topping, Dave, you love that topping, oh, don't you? Do. You do. I know that you do. Okay, we'll get everything posted for you guys. I hope you enjoy cinnamon rolls. <laughs>